Hey, yo, what's up and welcome. I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Chicago Fire Career, episode number 14 and the official start of season number two. So after what was one of the most chaotic and unpredictable transfer windows I've ever been a part of, we're finally set, the roster is settled, and we're ready to get season number two underway. But we do have a lot of questions heading into this season. Up top, Nikolic. Can he replicate the performance he had last season? Golden boot winner, I don't expect him to repeat as the top scorer in the league, but can he still remain effective up top? Or are we going to have to look in a different direction? Gaetan wasn't even going to be a part of this team this season. I was going to look to sell him in the offseason. After everything that happened in the transfer window, didn't end up happening. So he is still here. He has one more chance to impress. If he doesn't, he'll probably be gone in the summer window. Out wide, Jonathan Lewis. He is young. He does have potential. We know this. But can he hold that spot down? Because Alexander Katai is waiting literally in the wings to come back in and reclaim his spot. And Katai, it's a bit harsh to, to bench him to start the season. He was phenomenal in the playoffs for us. And to be fair, he was supposed to start in the center attacking mid position. That was my thought going into this year in place of Gaitan. Obviously, that didn't end up happening. So Katai doesn't have a spot right now. And then in, in the keeper position... Stefan Cleveland, Nathan Rogerson, which one of those two is going to step up and lock that spot down? So here we go. First game of the season. We're on the road in Montreal. It's Schweine's last season. He's retiring at the end of the year. Can we win one more trophy to add to his illustrious career? This one's for Schweinsteiger. Hashtag do it for Schweine. Here we go. And one minor note for us heading into this game. Nicholas Kreuzer, our right back, pulled up with a hamstring injury on the day before this game. So he's going to miss the first couple of weeks. Andre Reynolds will go back to starting at right back to start the season. Oh my goodness. They're just working this right-hand side. Kapelhoff, oh, did not do well enough. Oh, the shot. It's right at Cleveland. But he makes the first save that he's asked to make. That's a good sign. That's already better than Ousted. Ooh, there's a ball for Uruti. Trust he's giving chase. Trusty just is too good. Trusty is better than everybody else. He just is that good. Oh, Okwonkwo is through. Tries to deliver a ball, but again, it's that man, Austin Trusty. He's just, this is so good. Oh my god, Montreal just only come up this side. That time the cross actually got through. Trusty was a little bit out of position, but they get nothing for it. Is that halftime already? Jesus! Nothing happened in that first half! Oh, Montreal might have something here. They're up the wing. Ball is delivered. Diving header. But there is Stefan Cleveland again. He's coming up big in this game. Nikolic. Lays it for Guy Tan. Guy Tan cutting it back in. And away from somebody. He gets tripped up. We keep the ball. Oh, we had a ball through. That's so unfortunate. It got cut out. Ball here, nice. Oh, Nikolic tried to lay it for Guy Tan. We just we can't even get a shot. We haven't had a shot yet. Uh oh. Oh, Novilo, he has got the fresh legs and he is flying in here. But his cross is cut out by Austin. Trusty. Katai. Oh, beautiful move by Katai. Gets by a man and Katai is storming in. Come on, boys. We got to get something from this. Katai, pull it back. Nicely done. Frankowski. Oh, he's brought down to the box. It's going to be a penalty. Finally, we've gotten literally nothing in this game. There's only 11 minutes left. And that actually might be Pettit's second yellow. There's actually no card for that. He's very lucky not to be sent off. He's on a yellow already. But we will definitely take the pen. And it is going to be the captain, Schweinsteiger, to step up for this one. Schweiny, looking right, going back to the left. <laughs> gotta be kidding me that wasn't even a bad pen that was a that was a decent pen that's just a great save oh, nice move by frankowski gets that pass to guy 10 and another one yes there we go through for katai katai on it katai takes the shot oh it's wide it's better there's only a couple minutes left we're finally starting to make some headway here it's just been a very bad start to the season for us can we get one more chance here i think we're going to reynolds bringing this forward cutting it inside and the ref blows the whistle for full time. 
how when we're on the attack we're up to the back line we actually have a couple numbers going forward gotta love referees man gotta love referees in fifa but this ends in a very very dull nil nil so moving on we come home for our first home match of the season and it's a matchup between the top two teams from the East from a year ago. It is Chicago and the team we beat by one point for the Supporter Shield, the New York Red Bulls. So I've only made one change to the team for this game. And that is Grant Lillard at center back in place of Kapoloff. I'm just rotating those two this year. I didn't want to make any drastic changes. Wasn't a great performance last time out against Montreal. But maybe this team just needs a little bit of time to gel. So we're going to give them a little bit of time. Big tackle from Lewis again, and again, we just can't complete a freaking pass. Please, come on. There we go, guy 10. Out wide, there's nobody over here. It's Jonathan Lewis up the wing. Come on, Lewis, all the way in. Lewis dips the shoulder nicely. Lewis shoots. Not going to be hard enough to beat La Lauro. Who, who is he? There we go, Nikolic from Hylovich. Sort of loses out. Oh, Schweiny. What a pass. Frankowski just... Get the shot away, man. I can see that happening in slow motion. He just was never going to get that shot off before he got closed down. Schweiny just holding it for a second. Thank you, Schweiny. Finally, we're out of pressure here. Guy 10 for Nikolic. Nikolic around the corner for Mihailovic. Mihailovic for Frankowski. That's nice play. Frankowski coming in. Frankowski. Time finish. Howitzer. First goal of the season and our first lead. It's 1-0 to Chicago. Oh, that was just... That was a, almost a game and a half of frustration all bottled up and put into Frankowski's right leg. And he unleashed that thing. Top bins. Nobody's saving that thing. And it is Frankowski with our first goal of the year. Oh, finally. Oh, that's a great ball out of the back by Joven. And it springs maybe a counterattack. Straight forward. And it's the speedster. It's Frankowski again. Frankowski trying to get... I knew the slide tackle was coming. I tried to get away from it. I was literally running away from a slide tackle there. Just couldn't get it done. And somehow we're going to come away with nothing from this. Maybe. Except for maybe Frankowski's still on this. Yes, Frankowski. Ball in there. No, it's, just, it's just so impossible to get through defenses right now. Oh, Reynolds is quite out of position again. Ball in. Trusty. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know how many times Trusty's bailed us out already this season. It's a lot. Oh, there we go. That's some good passing. Very di Oh, my. The passing was so good. And it's Frankowski for his second. 2-0 Chicago. Woo. I don't know what's gotten into these defenses. But they are a task and a half to break down. We have been struggling. Passing has been an issue. But the passing there was perfect. And Frankowski has his second. He might be the only one that scores this season. But if we win games, I could care less. Oh, boys. Stepping Cleveland. We were kind of backpedaling a lot there. No one was stepping up. The, the midfield wasn't catching back up to help. That was a bad situation. And Hodemakers, about five minutes into his debut, picks up a yellow card. All right, corner for us here. 13 minutes left. Can we find something? Katai. Was that Katai again? It was. He's. I don't know how I can't start him. He's, he's really making a case. To get into the starting 11 again. I think he's delivering this corner though. He is. Grant Lillard rises and wins a header. Boy, man, maybe we should have just been crossing balls all along. We seem to have the advantage there. Well, there is the final whistle. Still not great by any stretch. But at least two players are showing up. Frankowski and Austin Trusty. Lillard played well in this game as well. And, and Cleveland. I'm asking a lot of questions for the rest of the team though. I... Not a lot of other standout performances there. Up next, we have a trip to BC Place in Vancouver. And we're going to make a couple of changes. Katai is going to start in the center attacking mid position in place of Gaitan. Because honestly, Gaitan is just not getting it done again. I honestly cannot see him being in this team past the summer transfer window. Right now, he needs to play his way back into the team where he's going to be gone. We have Kreuzer back from injury, so he'll be playing right back today. And Rogerson, Nathan Rogerson, will get his first start in net. Well, a little bit of an unexpected twist for this one. Freddie Montero is the top goal scorer in the league thus far. Four goals in three games. Bit of a danger man. Oh, Schweiny. Okay, well, fuck's sake. That was supposed to be to Frankowski. 
What a bad pass. Jonathan Lewis picks that up. I don't know what the heck they were doing there. Lewis, that was a really bad shot. As bad of a pass as that was, that was even a worse shot. We find something in there, though. In there for Nikolic. Turns, shoots, blocked, and they're going to get it out. Oh, Austin Trusty. He's just too good. He is too good. He wins the ball back in the midfield, and it's Schweiny up for Nikolic. Oh, a slide tackle of their own. Wow, Nikolic with a very nice shot from the outside. Very nearly gets that to work. Lewis on it. Drag back. Cross handball, but we're not going to talk about that. And then it's just cleared away easily. Oh, this could be bad. Montero lines up a shot, and Rogerson makes this. Okay, Rogerson. In there for Nikolic. Nikolic trying to go back for Lewis. It is an exquisite ball for Lewis. And the cross is just really... Lewis... Lewis has literally done nothing right in two and a half games. Croizer, where are you going, bro? Really didn't play that one well. Trusty gets that away, only as far as Derwinski. Montero turns. Rogerson snags it out of the air like freaking Spider-Man. Go on, Rogerson. Come on, boys. We have the momentum. It's right before halftime. Now would be a good time to get a goal. It falls from a high of inch. It's deflected. Behind for another corner. Come on. Please put this in a good spot. Schweine delivers. It's Katai. And it is Alexander Katai with the header. I have no idea how he put that on target. He was going away from goal and flicked that back post. He's just more effective than Gaitan. Gaitan is gone. As far as I'm concerned, Gaitan is gone in the summer. Katai is so much better. Again, Frankowski coming forward. Cuts it inside. Frankowski still on it. Oh, nice move there. It's going to be for Nikolic. I just shoot the ball. Are you kidding me? Just shoot. Damn it, Nikolic. You are continuing to be almost as bad as Guy Tan. Like, I'm not even sure which one I'm more disappointed in. Probably Guy Tan because he's just trash. Katai. What a ball by Katai for Frankowski. Pulling it in. There it is. Yes. It's just always blocked. What is with the defenders in MLS all of a sudden? They're blocking everything. Guy Tan could have done something. He could have been an, a factor or something in here, but he's just he's just not. All right, this is probably the last play of the game here. A corner. Joven delivers. It's cut out easily, and that's probably going to be the end of the game. Maybe deliver a ball back in. Doesn't even let us do that. Wasn't a good one anyway, and that's the end of the game. one nothing. All I can say is the defense has played very, very well. Offensively, good lord. Well, normally I play three games in an episode, but I feel like there really hasn't been any highlights to show you so far. There's been what? I think the most goals we've scored in a game is two. So, on to the next one. Game number four. We're off to New England. So, here we go one more time. We've made no changes to this starting 11. Katai is going to continue to start in the center attacking mid position because... He's just a million times better than Gaitan. Oh, he wins. Up the wing. That was a good play. Oh, Joven. I don't know what Joven Jones was doing over there. But thank God he was there because that, that could have been very, very dangerous. Ty looking for a ball. There's Frankowski. He's been our, our main source of offense this season. And he hammers it near post and into the back. Of the, I just, every time he goes through on net, you just know he's going to score. Up here for Mihailovic. Mihailovic tries a very creative pass. Also very risky because now it leads to a counterattack for New England. Oh no, Gilles! And there is the first goal. I think that's the first goal we've conceded this season. It is through their designated player, Gilles. And uh, that, was, that, was, that was just a mistake by us. Can't, can't be doing that. Can't be doing that. Oh no. Oh no, Ooh, Zahibo is getting closer. He's had a couple of looks. Oh no, the defense is starting to fall apart. Oh, it's not, that's not what we need right now. The offense still isn't going. We can't lose the defense now. There we go, Schweiney's up with it. Spotting the run of, well, that guy. Oh, that's a good ball back for Schweinsteiger. It's blocked and behind. That was a good save. Can't believe Schweiney didn't score there. All right, we have a corner. Joven's going to deliver this in swinger. And there, <laughs> where the hell did he come from? He was like a bullet. I think he came from outside the 18-yard box, but it is that man, Austin Trusty, who gives us the lead here in the second half. 
Oh, I thought this was going to end 1-1, to be honest. I mean, we were just doing nothing offensively. The chances we were getting, we weren't converting. But Austin Trusty, he's a weapon on both ends. And he has scored an early goal here for Chicago, early in the season. And it's 2-1 to Chicago. Oh, boys. Oh, New England. Threatening here. Jovin! Nope. That was a hell of a ball. I wish, I wish my left winger could deliver something like that. This is the last, this is absolutely the last attempt of the game. Here comes Martinez again. This time the cutback is on. Lays it across. Nikolic. You had a chance, man. You had a I should have gone one more to Frankowski. I wanted Nikolic to try to do something. Oh, boy. Oh, the first four games of this, this season. Wow. All right. So, after four games, we sit in fourth place. Two wins and two draws. We haven't lost yet, so that's something, I guess. We've only scored five goals, though. We've only given up two, which is great. Both in that last game to New England. But the offense just isn't there. I don't. I honestly don't know if it's us or EA put out another gameplay update and the game just feels completely different. Like, the defenders are amazing at reading plays and cutting out passes and blocking crosses, passes, and shots. Like, I very, had very, very, very few clean looks at goal in four games played. It's so difficult to, to even pass the ball out of your own end. Like, I can barely get the ball at the field at this point, much less create chances. So, again, I don't know if that's us or if that's FIFA. So, we'll just continue pushing on. We'll just call it a rough stretch to start the season. We did have a lot of new players join the team. And we're just kind of getting a feel for each other. Some people have impressed. Some have not. But we're just going to keep pushing forward. So... That is it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I can't help but laugh because I didn't enjoy that very much. That was freaking painful. But I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.